Proverbs 31 and 3. Give not thy strength unto women, nor the ways to that which destroyeth kings. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza Wolf from the GMS New Jersey camp. And um, I got a quick, quick hit. Uh, Lord's willing, this lesson will be edifying. And um, this lesson is geared uh, in particular to the men of Israel. All right. Which is of the hopeful elect, I should say. And, you know, it's, 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 it's focused on the men. Now, you got a few sisters, humble sisters who listen and learn. You know, you can watch if you want and listen if you want to. You know, and uh, just take the advice and if you got sons or whatever, teach your sons. You know, same way as King Lamio, mother did in giving her son this wisdom. Now, you know, for the wicked women who get upset with uh, this truth because, you know, the Lord has set his tabernacle with men and the men are the heads of the house. Okay, the men is of the heads of the ministry. Okay, this gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you have particular men who the Lord have chosen. They are the heads. Straight up and down. All right. You got a problem with that? You leave a comment. I'm just going to block you. All right. I ain't going back and forth. You know, so, you know, hopefully this is edifying to those of the whole four leg. Now, this is Proverbs 31 and 1. It says the words of the King Lamuel, the words of King Lamuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. Now, notice it says prophecy. All right. Because... The word prophecy means to say before, all right? You know, us as of the whole four elect that prophesize and uh, teach the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, all, they, all we're doing is saying before the things that's going to happen in the earth before it happened. And it's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, not of men. So King Lamuel mother had the spirit on her to give her son this prophecy, all right? Now it says... The words of King Lamuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. What my son and what and what uh, the son of my womb and what the son of my vows. Give not thou strength unto woman, nor thou ways to that which destroy of kings. All right. So it says, give not thou strength unto woman. Now, as men, OK, men. Of the Lord who had put off the old man you, you uh, left from the Gentile frame of mind being a Gentile all right and you know you, you was raised in this place raised in this world in a certain fashion you process things a certain way so dealing with women majority of the time as we grew up we would give our strength to women all right, because you didn't know no better. You think that that's what you had to do to keep the woman, to please the woman. But the Lord cleans us up and shows us that that you're the, you're the, actually the prize, and she's not the prize. All right, as it's written in Isaiah the thirteen, it says we shall uh, they shall be as uh, gold. All right, meaning the men of the Lord shall be as gold in this day, and they are. You can see it now, even though this economy is still up and running. But you can see that the men of the Lord is going to be the precious, the precious gold that's going to be uh, uh, what you want when th when things get rough, because they have the word of the Most High. All right. Now it says, "Give not thy strength." So what is your strength? You know, strength first off is your mind. Okay, lob the Hebrew word for mind. You know, your strength is everything. And I give you an example. You know, you may have uh, somebody like when you lifting weights, right? You may have this big old guy, you know, he might be, well, he ain't got to be big or big. He, he's, he, he weighs a lot. You think that maybe he can lift this certain amount of weight. But guess what? He can't. But then you got a guy that's smaller and he's able to lift that weight that you expected the heavier guy to lift. That takes what? Strength. And it started with it started what? With their mind. 
Okay, he believed in his mind he can lift it, and he lifted. You know, just because you heavy and you got weight to you doesn't mean you able to lift heavy. All right, and that reminds me of um, you know how the Apostle Gabar, he always make mention of uh, with King Samuel, how the Lord said uh, he he uh, he looks uh, within the inward part of man. Well, the prophet Samuel, he looks within the inward part of man and not the outward part. Most people see a person from the outward appearance and may be afraid, you know, but the Lord doesn't care about what the outward appearance is. It's what's within the spirit. All right. And another example is that is King David. Remember King David? King David was strong in, in his uh, faith in the Lord. He believed in the Lord. He said he, uh, he went to fight Goliath. He said, I come in the name of my power. Yahweh, you know, and he was able to slay Goliath. So give not thy strength. Your strength is your mind. Now, we said this a few times ago, you know, in camp, you know, also strength could be your seed, you know, because your seed, wherever you plant your seed at into a woman's garden, then she's going to grow your seed. And if her, and if that garden is not at ease and it's unstable waters, the tur the you know the uh, turbans and you know all sorts of trouble then guess what your mind is going to be troubled so you have given your strength to this woman you know you don't put a seed in her she got your child she's being wicked she won't put you on child support she don't want you to see your son your daughter you know so that's a form of strength you know until you able as we're going to read in the next uh verse you know put off the mortal thoughts the Lord truly wants us to be as soldiers. So give not thy strength unto women. You know, always have a plan B. You know, you might get up with a woman and um, she cool, you know, she she's uh, loving. It's always like that in the very beginning. In the very beginning of relationships is always the best. All right. The point is, is could she stay that person that she was when you met, when you met her? Because obviously when she gets familiar with you, and she sees your folly, she stop, She stops giving you that respect, all right? She starts yelling. She starts cursing back, yelling back, saying this, saying that, having her way, you know? And, and it's up to you to lay down principles. You don't lay down principles and don't, and if you don't, if you, you could lay down principles, but you have to live by those principles, you know? Certain things got to get checked because they will try you, whether she's doing it purposely or she don't know. She's just familiar with you. You know, and then down the line, if you don't have any principles, you know, this helps keep you, this helps keep your strength. This is why I'm saying this. And, you know, down the line, you know, she's going to try you because she's familiar with you. All right. She knows what make you happy. She knows what make you mad, you know, and also girls are very moody. All right. They're fickle. All right. They, they like to win. You know, they win though. She could be this way today. Tomorrow she could be another way. That's why, you know, for you women that call yourself uh, believing, you know, make sure that your feet is shrouded in this truth, in the, in the gospel. Make sure the fear, you know, the main ingredient is fear. Women lose fear. All right. Women don't fear. That's what it is. They, you know, women that say they believe, they fear, and they give you all this respect. But then as soon as she starts voicing herself and, and start serpent authority that shows you you don't have fear because you would never you don't you don't you know serp authority over somebody you fear you know so for the men give not your strength unto women have principles have a way about you have a plan b now i'm not trying to be a uh you know like one of those guys a high value guys but we are high value men of the lord and that's the way it got to be all right, with a true high value, you know, Elder Pascal Bar brought that out, and brothers, you check that out. It was an old clip a couple of weeks ago. You know how the men of the Lord are really the high value, because at the end of the day, when this everything's fall, who who is going to be able to uh, get through this? The men of the Lord, and why? Through the through the Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit. All right, through through faith that they have in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. So Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is going to be with these men, and who's going to want to be with these men? The women. All right. So give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroy kings. Because what destroy king? What mainly destroy kings is a woman. 
you know, she strokes his ego, she warms his heart, and, you know, he, he gets seduced in his spirit, you know, he starts to fall for her, he gives her her way, you know, women are wicked, man, you know, I was saying this the other day, you know, the scriptures say, through Eve, we all die, so Eve brought death into the world by making that agreement with Satan in the garden and you can look at these wicked women today and I'm talking about the Israelite woman starting with that black woman look how her bullshit attitude look how she is today look how she runs to Satan against you when she can't get her way she'll call 911 she'll kick you out your house she'll take the kids away from you you know what I'm saying she she talks shit to you because she know that you know at a at a at, at a, a, a speed dial if you would, if you would to uh, raise your voice or no, let's say raise your hand, them police will be here in a hot second. You know, they love coming to cause what they call, uh, what is it, uh, domestic violence or something like that. I forgot what it's called or abuse. That's just why you have to have principles so that you don't allow yourself to get in that type of um, emotion to react, to put your hands on these women. My thing is, if you got to even be angered enough to put your hands on a woman, you shouldn't be with her. She's not somebody to be with, you know. You know, she's not something to be with. But I'm not here, you know, this is just advice and wisdom. I'm just saying principle. Principles set principles so you can keep your strength. Have faith in your Bashim Yahweh Shai so you can keep your strength. Prayer. You know, let me say... You know, prayer, praying the Lord, you know, pray for strength, pray to, to be an alpha male, you know, pray to uh, have principles and stand by your principles. Principles is key, man. Without it, you ain't nothing. You'll get ran all over. We have principles, which is this word, this word. But little things, you know, that you, um, little things that may be of your character, of who you are, how you go about things. Make principles, man. So it says, nor thou, now, nor thou ways to that which destroyeth kings. Because, you know, that's what destroys a lot of kings, you know, back then. A wicked woman, you know. Scriptures say many men have lost their wits to women. So anyway, with that being said, uh, this is Second Edges 14. And like, again, I hope this lesson is edifying, man. You know, I normally don't do lessons like this, but since it was on my mind, and these precepts was coming up and you know brothers need to know young brothers who coming in the faith you know you hear you in hebrew israelite you know you could have more than one woman you know we're not in the time to really have all these women all right right now your woman should be this truth it's not expedient you know that's a headache you know or no woman at all as paul said if you don't have a woman don't seek a woman if you have a woman, don't seek to be loose. But it's, it's, it's situations where if the woman is unbearable to deal with, then guess what? You're going to have to cut her off. Cut her off from that flesh and give her the bill of divorcement and leave. You know, straight simple. It's you that have to seek salvation. All right? You want to see salvation. The scriptures say, work out thy own salvation with fear and trembling. So really, your main focus should be this truth. All right? But as you deal with women, these are some of the things you should take heed to. Now, this is 2nd Edges 14 and 13. Now, therefore, set thou house in order and reprove thou people. Comfort such as them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption. So the point is, set your house in order. Now, you are your own house. All right. You create your house. You're the head of the house. Your house starts with you. All right. So set your house in order and reprove thou people. You know, you got... Uh, children, boys and girls, daughters and sons, you know, correct them, right? It says, comfort such as them that be in trouble and now renounce corruption. So, you know, if you could, you know, if your child sunny of sunny his life, you know, let them know about the Lord. Teach them, teach them, uh, you know, some, some, some of the righteous ways, you know, if he's at that age to understand, you know, uh, uh, train him up to be a man. All right. Uh, train your daughter up to be a woman. Give her those those talks, 
you know, advice to sit down with her and tell her, you know, what's wrong and right, which way you should present yourself. Don't go out here being no whore's woman, you know. Anyway, verse 14, let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of men, put off now the weak nature. You know, dealing with these women, you're going to have to put off the mortal thoughts. And, you know, these scriptures apply to other things, too. But this topic is about the woman. All right. So let go from the mortal thoughts. Let go from you those mortal thoughts, man. You can't control these women. All right. If you're not home, you don't know what she's doing. She could be committing adultery and women are that conniving and sneaky. All right. So why are you caring so much in your heart to lose your salvation over some damn woman? You know, you got to have it in the back of your mind that, you know, women are so slick. When she go to work on her break, she could be getting popped. That's some real shit. And she coming back home and you don't think nothing of it. But if you're spiritual, you're going to judge all things. And you'll obviously see because a woman can't control the spirits that be on her. It's going to reflect off of her. So a man that's really indulged in with the word, you're going to be able to see like, what's up, I'm up with you, yo? You changing or what the fuck is that about? You know, and women can't help it. That's that giveaway. The Lord gave us that power, you know, to read spirits. You able to exceed that, man. You can tell something's up. But guess what? You know, put off. It says, let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature. You got to put off the weak nature, man. You catch a girl out there or she or she talking about leaving you or whatever. You come home and then, you know, she left a note. She out or whatever. How it goes. Put off now the weak nature. Say, you know, hey, all praises to your house. I was shy. It's easier said than done. All right. I have to say that because when you're going through it, you feel like shit. You be pissed off. And this is something that we all have to work, work, work at until you get numb to it, man. So it's really nothing. You realize that the Lord did that. The Lord does everything. Sometimes he removed these women so that he can. The Lord is pleasing. The Lord is uh, uh, giving you a blessing. He's removing this woman so that you can grow, so that you can breathe and have a free spirit. As soon as your rib. You know, it's up under your skin and y'all got some differences. Try to go do a lesson. I guarantee you ain't thinking about no lesson. Even if you was thinking about a lesson, what's going to happen is you're going to be so angered up and bothered up. You ain't going to be able to do the lesson. You want a free spirit, man. You want to be com you want to be uh, sound in your mind. You want to be uh, confident to a degree in your mind, you know, and be joyful about doing shows for the Lord. You know, you might do a show. With that spirit, with the spirit on you, now you got to show it, you know, you're doing it with pack, more passion, you know, bringing the scriptures out. You know, this word also, it helps us first before it helps others. So, you know, sometimes when you're doing the show as uh, the Brock Bar, you know, the brother, beloved brother in the main camp, you know, he always, he taught me last, a uh, long time ago that, you know, these lessons are study. You know, we, we study and when we do these lessons. So by doing shows, it also helps you. All right. It helps you study, helps you learn, you know, especially in the situations that you go through. So it says, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and haste thee from the and haste thee to flee from these times. So set aside the thoughts that are most heavy. Here you are. You, you, you know, you worried about your woman. Here you are at, at your job and you worried about your damn woman. You know, if you got to worry about your woman committing adultery, brother, leave that woman. Get the fuck away from her, man. All right. Get the fuck away from her. Why would you want to go through that? You know, and this truth, you got to be selfish, man. You got to think for I. First. All right. We can't save anybody. We can't even save ourselves. We hope that Yahweh Bashim shall save us. So worry about you. Paul said, have thou faith, have it to thyself before the most high. You got to worry about you. It's all about you. It ain't about them. It's about you. You're the head. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. You got to set it to the side. You know, you think about it. You're in the flesh. It's going to come across your mind. You know how Satan works. You know how I'm demons. They whispering shit in your head. And you are you like, yeah, this motherfucking bitch. You know? But he got to set it to the side. It says, 
and hates thee to flee from these times. And then what you do, you you know, when that shit come across, you know, fuck the Lord, you know, this shit, man. Y'all bashing me out, shot. Wait till the shit over. That's that fire, man. Put the Lord first, man. Sometimes the Lord make us go through these things because he want to make us strong in the mind. He want to give us strength, you know. Verse 16. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. So your woman could be doing evil, committing fornication. Shit, man. Your woman could be a fucking, a fucking mo, man. That's some, that's some disrespectful shit. You know, your woman leaving you for another woman. That's crazy, man. But that's the shit that you can expect. Where, where in bab, you no, know, where, where at the end of the world, man. We're in an evil time right now. So, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. You know? So, I know this lesson 20 minutes long. I hope it was edifying. I just wanted to bring up those two precepts dealing with this woman. Like I said, this lesson is geared more to the men in this show. All right? Women, you want to listen, you listen. You're going to be nosy anyway. But, um, you know, it is what it is. It starts with the men. All right? The Lord is dealing with men. What's that? Revelations 21 and 3. He said, the tabernacle of the Lord is with men. The Lord is setting up the men. And if the men don't get uh, sealed, then none of you women is going to get to the kingdom. We're always going to be here until the Lord, you know, set the men up. It starts with the men. Men are the heads, man. That's the straight up point, man. You could hate that all you want. You know, if you get mad and pissed off with that, that's your problem. But the truth is the truth. The truth is the truth, man. You know, but um, anyway, I hope this lesson was edified to you brothers out there that need that advice. Young, young men listening and stuff, going through stuff. You know, that's just my humble advice using these scriptures and, you know, things I've went through, you know, and I'm still going through stuff, whatever. But it is what it is, man. You know, I hope I can help and uh, help comfort you with these words of Yahweh Bashim Shai. So with that. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahshah, Bashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.